Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video from Bat. I know I didn't upload yesterday. I was pretty tired. But anyways guys, today what I'm actually going to be talking about is a deep woken talent that in my opinion is probably one of the best talents in the entire game. And this talent can honestly single-handedly buff your elemental resistance by 20% if you know how to abuse it. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do just that. But before we start, make sure to join my Discord server in the description below as we do a ton of giveaways. Somebody just won a Storm's Eye the other day, so if you guys want to win as well, join my server and let's start up the video. Alright, yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, I'm going to try and make this pretty quick. So essentially, there's a talent in Deep Woken that in my opinion is really slept upon and that is actually Ever-Changing Aegis. And what Ever-Changing Aegis actually does is pretty much, if I got hit by like, let's say Gale Breath, right guys, I would have 20% less resistance for Gale Breath. However, the first move that hit me is going to deal 10% more damage and it alternates depending on what element you get hit by. If that makes sense i'm gonna have the wiki there on the screen as well so you guys can read that if my explanation wasn't good but back in the day in deep Woken, this actually used to be like one of the worst talents in the game and everybody thought it was trash and also instead of 20 percent and 10 percent, it was 25 percent for both and it got buffed but what people don't realize is if i get hit by like a gale breath mantra and i parry it then i'm just gonna get gale breath resistance for their next mantras so like simple like the most simplistic way i can put this is if I'm fighting a single attunement build, I basically just get 20% resistance against them for completely free. And that is pretty overpowered. So if you're running 1v1s, this is pretty good. For ganks, this is pretty good. Because let's be real, guys. As long as you can parry, you're going to get some good resistance. But I can't see this going wrong in ganks. So if you're making a gank build, this might not be the best move. But if you want to climb trauma conflict, this is honestly one of the most underrated and best talents. And it could honestly help you guys a lot uh the requirements for it are 25 intelligence and with that you can also put five more into intelligence and get ether conduit and what that does is if you proc the ether adept talents three times you'll get a damage buff so like literally pick up ether door absorption and ether conduit and you get a free damage buff so yeah hope that guys helps you i don't know bro i've recorded it so much time so uh yeah make sure to like and subscribe and goodbye